morning everyone this class is about neuron a structural and functional unit of neural system let us see see your neat exam is going to happen on 4th may 2025 so seriously prepare for it the time is very less okay so this class is about neuron and structural and functional unit uh, we are going to see okay what is the structure of the neuron let us see the neuron is of three parts this is cell body or it is called as cytan okay it is called as cytan cell body or cytan and uh, dendrites this is there is a long process which is called as axon the short process are called as dendrites and this is a long process this is called as axon okay and uh, if you see here it is otherwise called as multipolar neuron why it is called as multipolar neuron in the sense this has a multiple poles so it is called as multipolar neuron this is the typical uh, example of the neuron so how many parts are there in the sense cell body axon and the uh, nerve terminal or the dendrites dendrites and you can see in the axon there is a uh, this this sheath is called as myelin sheath this is uh, nothing but a fat coverage which covers the axon and then and there it is interrupted and it looks like a node of the plants so it is called as node of ranvier why it is called as node of ranvier in the sense it is founded by the ranvier so it is called as node of ranvier okay and if you see this uh, here the axon is uh, slightly modified and it is called as oligo dendrite this part is called as oligo dendrite the cell body contains a special type of uh, granules that is called as nissels granule okay and uh, each and every branch of the terminal uh, there is a bulb like structure you can see here this is the bulb like structure so this bulb like structure come and join with another neuron so you can see here with other another neuron so the message from this cell body which passes through the axon of the cell and it comes comes to the nerve terminal and passes to the next adjacent neuron okay so this is called as synapses synapses what you are seeing here is the nerve terminal that is the bulb like structure and this is the next neuron adjacent neuron and this neuron is having the receptors at the neuri lemma what is neuri lemma in the sense the membrane which is covered the uh, neuron is called as neuri lemma okay let us come to this one so this cell body you can see at the center of the cell body there is a nucleus and uh, this cell body is filled with a fluid that is called as neuroplasm and in the neuroplasm there are uh, a pigments called as nissel granules there are so many nissel granules inside the neuroplasm and uh, the membrane which covered the cell body is called as neuri lemma okay uh, this is the structure of the nerve cell okay nerve cell or else it is called as neuron okay and i told you about the uh, nissel granules which is present in the cytoplasm of the neuron it is called as neuroplasm okay and at the end it is called as synapses see neurotransmitter i told you the electrical symbols are conducted from one neuron to the other neuron through the chemical uh, substance through a chemical substance that is called as neurotransmitter you can see the vesicle here this vesicle is filled with the neurotransmitters okay uh, neurotransmitter when it come in contact with the neuri lemma it uh, breaks and release the chemical outside that will be received by the adjacent uh, adjacent neuron so like this the message is passed from one neuron to another neuron you can see here okay this is the synapses right and now come to the next part uh, based on the number of the axon as well as the dendrites okay based on the number of axon as well as axon means this is the axon the long process this is the axon and these are the dendrites so according to the number of the axon as well as the dendrite the neuron is divided into four types first one is multipolar what we have seen here is the multipolar this is the multipolar neuron so where it is present in the sense it is present in the cerebral cortex of the brain where it is present the multipolar cerebral cortex of the brain and it transmit the signals through the 
neuron okay see what i are seeing here is the multiple neuron see how many dendrites are there and see this these are the adjacent neurons come and join with this one connected with this one and this uh, see these are the dendrites from adjacent neuron and this cytoplasm uh, sorry the cell body is receiving all the messages and it is conducted the message through this axon to the next neuron okay so likewise the message is passing from one neuron to another neuron uh, let us see the bipolar uh, bipolar in the sense one axon and one dendrite one axon and one dendrite okay one axon in the sense see this is one axon and here one dendrite will be okay so this type of uh, neuron is called as this type of neuron is called as bipolar two poles are there so it is called as bipolar where it found in the sense it found in the retina of the eye okay retina of the eye so these neurons uh, uh, send the signals and receive information from the world it receive the information from the world through the eyes and it send those information to the brain from the eyes okay those uh, those nerves are called as optical nerves these optical nerves take the take the message to the brain and there in the brain it will be interpreted see for example uh, you went to italy or you went to uh, switzerland you are seeing a beautiful scenery these sceneries are received by the retina of the eye okay the through the light it passed through the iris and then it falls on the retina then from the retina uh, it is coming to the brain through the optical nerves okay so in the brain itself in the brain only it is interpreted and you are uh, coming to know that you are seeing a beautiful scenery okay so likewise the messages are passed from the outside world and send it to the brain so why we are able to see and able to see different uh, sceneries and different uh, things we are able to see okay so where this bipolar present in the sense they are present in the retina of the eye keep in mind make a note of it you can see the different uh, varieties of uh, neuron according to the presence of the number of dendrites and axon okay so this is called as multipolar and this is unipolar because a cell body and one axon this is cell body and multiple dendrites and one axon this is called a pseudo unicellular sorry uh, pseudo unipolar neuron why in the sense this is only one then this is divided into two okay so it is pseudo and here you can see the two a pseudo in the sense false okay false and uh, here you can see the bipolar two axons are present here so this is called as bipolar neuron this is present in the retina of the eye this one present in the multiple uh, polar multipolar is present in the cerebellar of the brain okay next one let us see unipolar unipolar where it is found in the sense it is found in the embryonic stage okay and they are responsible uh, to send the electrical signals and uh, it send the electrical signals very fast okay very fast which one unipolar and uh, pseudo unipolar they are they pass the messages from skin and muscle to the spinal cord keep in mind and make a note also pseudo unipolar they receive the signals from the skin and uh, muscles and send the uh, message to the spinal cord okay so it helps in the movement of arms and legs uh which one pseudo unipolar is responsible for the movement of the arms and legs as per the signal coming from the brain okay and now come come to the unipolar which is present uh, in the embryonic stage and uh, this send the signals as fast okay fast as then the other neuron okay you can see the you can see clearly this is unipolar that is cell body and one axon this is bipolar cell body and two axons this is pseudo unipolar that is unipole only but it is false uh, false unipole because it is two axons are present here okay so it is called as pseudo unipolar and uh, multipolar in the sense many dendrites and one axon clear i told you that is uh, in the cell body there is nasal granules 
what is the function of this nissle granule let us see see this uh, cell body is filled with the nissle granules this is electronic microscopic uh, structure of the nissle granules and uh, what is the function if you see the first one is protein synthesis second one is protein transport and third one is nutrition and metabolism it uh, nourishes the neuron as well as metabolic metabolic activities also uh, taken care by the nissle granules next very important point is neural repair and replacement what do you mean by neural repair see once the nerve is uh, damaged or any damage occurs or any cut occur in the nerve cell or in the brain uh, there won't be any uh, rectification or there won't be any repair see for example uh, this is your hand a part of uh, part of the muscle is removed in the sense it will be repaired after uh, some time isn't it but whether in in the nerves it is not repaired but there is a uh, there is some uh, cases uh, for example in peripheral nervous system if there is any damage occurs or if it is affected by any disease okay or any injury this peripheral nervous system can repair itself okay so they can regenerate they can regenerate or they can repair by themselves which one peripheral nervous system but in central nervous system that is the brain and spinal cord if there is any damage occur uh, it is not able to heal or regenerate okay so make a note and in some cases that is neuro neural uh, plasticity what is neural plasticity in the sense the brain uh, brain can the cells can modify itself okay modify itself according to your thoughts and according to your activity see for example uh, when you when you think in a positive way or when you think in your aim is very high and you are uh, taking part of any project seriously then your brain cells modify according to your plan according to your thoughts it modifies and it gives many suggestions and many plans according to your thought okay so always that's why usually the um, optimist says think always positively and always uh, think uh, high okay dream big they te- uh, they tell na uh, say uh, abdul kalam always say dream big dream big and uh, set a goal in your life and uh, move move towards it okay step by step move towards it and achieve the goal he says usually that is because the scientist see scientists are continuously they working and they are doing some research in the sense according to their thoughts and their need the brain modify itself okay the brain cells modifies so that is called as neuroplasticity okay and uh, next one if you see the the nerves are two two types according to the axon okay axon types of axon in the sense there are two types of axon one is non myelinated and another one is myelinated okay what is myelinated in the sense the axon is covered by a myelin sheath myelin sheath is nothing but a fat covering okay it covers the axon and uh, some axons are not covered uh, by the myelin sheath so it is called as non myelinated sheath where is this type of axon is a, sorry this type of nerve cells where it is present in the sense it present in the spinal as well as in the cranial nerves okay cranial in the sense skull that is a uh, head region head region okay so the brain and the spinal cord this type of neurons are present in spinal cord and brain okay a non myelinated where we can find in the sense it is uh, found in the autonomous and somatic nervous system okay autonomous and somatic nervous system you can uh, find here this is the myelinated neuron and this is the non myelinated neuron you can find the how the electrical impulse that is the message how it is goes in the sense i told you this is the nodes of ran wire and this is the myelin sheath so it jumps and goes and the message passes very fastly uh, in this myelinated okay and here it goes slowly okay slowly because there is no jumping so smoothly it goes in the unmyelinated axon okay unmyelinated non myelinated neuron this is myelinated neuron and what you are seeing here is the ganglion and in the ganglion you can find special cells that is called as quan cell and this is the peripheral ganglion neuron cell body this is the cell body okay this is ganglion structure of ganglion you can find the salivary cells here and quan cells here 
and this is very important uh, you can see this one this is Purkinje cell so th this might come on the examination Purkinje cell in the sense this single cell actually this is single neuron but it has multiple multiple dendrites okay multipolar this is multipolar and many poles are here so it receives as many as messages from different types of neurons okay that we see later and here the, it is called as primary uh, sorry pyramidal cell of the cerebral cortex cerebral cortex it present this is cerebellar cortex it present and here this is olfactory neuron present in the olfactory lobe of the cerebrum okay coming to the key points dendrites are three uh, tree like structure in neuron that extend away from the cell body to receive the messages from other neurons at synapses and uh, not all neurons have dendrites not all neurons have dendrites not all neurons have axon also so synapses are able to uh, enable the dendrite to receive the messages okay axons are tube like structure that sig send signal to the other neuron muscles organs and uh, not all neurons have axon okay you have to keep this in mind or not all neurons have dendrite and not all neurons have axon okay um, sometimes they have dendrite sometimes they have axon only now neurons are divided into four major types this already we have seen unipolar bipolar multipolar and uh, pseudo unipolar unipolar neurons have only one structure extending from the soma and uh, bipolar have uh, one axon and one dendrite extending from the soma multipolar contains one axon and many dendrites and the pseudo unipolar neurons have single structure that extend from the soma which later branches into two distinct structure okay these uh, three already i explained you dendrite axon and synapses so what is dendrite branched pro projection of a neuron that conduct the impulse received from other neural cells to the cell body Axon is a long slender projection of a nerve cell that conduct the nerve impulses away from the cell body to the neuron and muscle organ. Synapse, if you see the junction between the terminal of a neuron and uh, either another neuron or a muscle or gland cell over which the nerve impulse pass. And interesting uh, facts about the neuron, let us see. Uh, in the de developmental stages you can see the plasticity most profoundly in the first few years of the life that is uh, when the the child child grown in the sense the first few years the neurons grow very rapidly okay the brain development will be very very fast and send out the multiple branches uh, okay and ultimately forming too many connections okay the brain functions very fast and the neuron grows very fast during the uh, infantile stage okay so when the ch when the child is two or three years old the number of synapses approximately per neuron per neuron number of synapses that is 15,000 15,000 different uh, nerves from different nerves it is receiving the um, messages okay so so only we used to say that uh, child uh, child is very eager to receive the information from others okay continuously the child ask a question what is that what is that what is that so the brain is uh, that as ma as fast as it receives the uh, information from different sources and uh, how much it is fast in the sense twice that of the average adult brain okay now uh, dendrites uh, from a single neuron may receive synaptic contact from many other neurons for example dendrites from a Purkinje cell I already shown you the Purkinje cell it receives the message from or it uh, have a contact with 2 lakh neuron okay Purkinje cell have a contact with 2 lakh neuron okay so see the connection how many branches are there in the Purkinje cell next let us see uh, the nervous system commonly uh, for example let us take the drosophila you all know a small fly how many neurons are there in the fly in the sense 1 lakh neurons are present in the fly this this is the same as that of the lobster lobster is so big isn't it so big lobster is but the drosophila is too small too small but the but the 
neurons are same as the of the new uh, drosophila and uh, lobster and it comes to uh, 75 million neurons are present in the mouse 300 million are present in the octopus and human brain are about 86 billion neurons are present in the human brain make a note of this all important these are all important points so make a note and now coming to the one question let, let me ask pseudo unipolar neurons occur in retina dorsal ganglion or uh, ventral root or spinal nerve or uh, nerve nuclei the answer is dorsal ganglia okay so thank you thank you so much for watching this class so what you are doing is subscribe this channel for the further videos and uh, uh, share this video to your friends those who are preparing for the need thank you thank you so much